You may have noticed those dockless rental scooters popping up all over town of late. In less than a month, about 53,000 rides have been taken on more than 900 scooters. So what is all the fuss about? Well, Mike Polk Jr. took one for a spin. <laughs> H.G. -E Butte is that bird scooter that everybody's been talking about around town. I wanted to see just how far one of these would take me, because that kind of sounds like journalism. But safety first. Let's do this. To freedom. Oh, got to use both hands. The path I've chosen is full of people and garbage and probably some crime, but also some beautiful sights around Cleveland that I look forward to showing you. Sorry, everyone else in traffic. The free stamp still isn't art. Apparently these things go up to 12 miles per hour. So really sort of like a, like a brisk walk. I'm part of a trend. Thank you. It's green. It's green. Oh, that's the brake. What? Got it. I got it. Just took me a second. I'm not on the sidewalk. I used to date a girl who lived in that building. It didn't work out. A lot of people actively avoiding eye contact with me today, even more than usual. I understand. Oh, that's tight. That is pretty tight. We'll get it. Another thing we really didn't count on, it's not great for bird scooter riding, is if it rains. Even though Matt Wentz said it wouldn't rain today when I asked him. But guess what? Here it is. Thanks, Matt. They should really have one of these that has a top on it for these kind of situations. Hit a little hiccup in the road, sat out the rain. Now it's time to continue my journey. Looking for adventure, but you probably will not find adventure. It's a bird scooter. Bird scooters. Bird scooters. What's the matter with you? Now I'm just riding a scooter. This is pointless. Go. That's that 117 is the city limit. I'll bet that's it. This thing got me all the way into Lakewood, and then it died because they die once it leaves the city. Sort of like my friendships with my friends when they get married. And then they go to Bay Village. And then they're gone forever. Okay. Let's go back to Cleveland, girl. Here you go, everybody. Another triumph for journalism. Well, if you plan on taking out one of these for a ride yourself, there are some things to remember. In a statement to 3 News, Bird Scooters confirmed that they use geofencing, so their scooters will not work outside of city limits, like Mike found out. So make sure you know where those are. The devices also don't work between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. And most importantly, remember to ride safely. We have sharing how to do that on WKYC.com. Wow, and Matt Wentz getting a shout out there. Absolutely, I love oh, shout outs. Yes. I don't know if that was a good kind. Oh, it's fine. As long as they spelled your name right. Thanks, yeah, that's Matt. it, as long as they it's got the first name right, and you know, it's, it's great. So 